Hey there, my fellow lunatics, and welcome to Dakin's Madhouse. All right, everybody, welcome to the next tier list video, and we are doing tools today. Now, we're going to be doing tools a little bit differently than we've been doing the other videos because the Maximum level tools are not really as interesting as the starting level set for tools. So I'm going to go ahead and do both of them in one video. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the rules. Number one, all of the items are at their starting level. There are no item level upgrades. None of the items are reinforced. I have noticed that at lower levels, a lot of people tend not to reinforce their items. So I'm going to assume that you don't have the resources or you just keep forgetting to reinforce. Number three, I take into account at what point in the game the item is normally going to be found. So for example, the copper sword is more useful in the early game than in the late game. So I'm rating things with this kind of consideration in mind. Number four, Different play styles can alter the ranking of various weapons for different people. Now, I'm going to try to stay neutral and take all these different play styles into account, but I must admit I have a bit of a bias toward fast attack speed weapons that hit more often than single shot attacks that do more damage in a single blow. I'm going to do my best not to let that get the better of me though. With that out of the way, let's take a quick look at the rating system in general and what each tier means. Starting with the S tier. This is the top tier. These are gonna be our super versatile items, best of the best, things that are used in multiple builds. A tier, those are going to be excellent items. Top tier for at least one build and often versatile, but not necessarily the best of the best. B tier are strong items that you really aren't going to complain about, but they have limited use or are eventually outclassed by other items. C tier, these items are fine. You can't go wrong with them, but you will eventually replace them or you are going to replace them pretty quickly. D tier, maybe these items have a little bit of a niche use, but otherwise they're really not that useful or worthwhile. And F tier, the item is trash, it's not any good, don't bother using it. All right, let's go ahead and get things started with the Ancient Pickaxe, and this one is going into a B tier. It is better than the Scarlet Pickaxe, in my opinion, and I think it is arguably better than even the Octarine Pickaxe, largely due to the fact that it has a higher uh, movement speed. However, the Octarine Pickaxe does have a higher mining bonus. So, not quite A tier, but this is a good pickaxe that will last you for a little while. The Bomb Mortar Scarab, I'm going to put this one into a D tier. It isn't bad for the level that you get it though, you're going to have better things that can break walls. So speaking of better things at breaking walls, we have got the Burn Zooka, which is going into B tier. This one is pretty good at ripping through walls at high speeds. It doesn't provide you with some of the other little bonuses, like it won't raise your mining skill, but it's fast and it's useful. It's not the fastest, but it is still pretty quick, certainly faster than a pickaxe. The copper hoe is next, and this one I am putting into C tier. And there's really not much to say about it. It does what it needs to do. It works just fine. The copper pickaxe is also going into C tier. It is pretty much the first really good pickaxe you're going to get your hands on. Yeah, you're going to replace it pretty quickly, but it's better than wood. The Copper Shovel, this one is going into D tier. I mean, it is a better shovel than the wooden one, but just because it has a higher durability, it doesn't have any other real advantage above wood besides that. The Copper Sledgehammer is going into C tier. I mean, what can I say? Sledgehammers are awesome. This is the worst of the sledgehammers, but it's still pretty good, so C tier it is. And when you get it, you know, you're going to be using it for a little while, but again, you're going to replace it with another sledgehammer pretty quickly. The Galaxite Pickaxe, this one is going into A tier. It is really, really easy to get. You can even get it just shortly after getting the Scarlet Pickaxe. So it's, it's pretty good for how quick you can uh, craft this thing. 
The Galaxy Light Shovel is also going into A tier. This is, at the time of recording, the best shovel in the game. It has the highest durability. It can um, break ground the fastest. Great shovel. The Galaxy Light Sledgehammer is also going into A tier as this is the best sledgehammer. So it is really fast, it is really useful, and it'll break pretty much any wall. The Grebzooka, however, is not that great. It goes into D tier. It's only really good at breaking dirt and sand and those early, early level biome uh, kind of walls. I mean, once you hit stone, this thing becomes pretty much useless. Hand mortar is not useless though. This one is going into B tier. It is really, really fast. You're going to burn through durability and it's not as good as its more advanced counterpart, but it is still a pretty solid drill. The hand mortar I'm going to throw into C tier. It actually breaks a decent amount of walls and I was impressed at how fast it can break through walls. It's just slow. Unlike the Burnzooka, it's just really slow. The Iron Hoe, this one is going into C tier. There's really not much to say about hoes. They do what they need to do, and this one continues to do what it needs to do, just at a slightly bigger radius. The Iron Pickaxe is going into A tier, as this is the best pre-wall pickaxe that you can get, and you will be using it until you get past the Great Wall. The Iron Shovel is going into D tier, and it's not that the shovel sucks. I mean, it's a better shovel than tin or copper, but there's just nothing really special to it. And frankly, you could keep using the wooden shovel at this point in the game and be just fine. The Iron Sledgehammer is going into B tier, here as it is the best sledgehammer in the game pre-wall coming down. So if you're into sledges, this is going to be one that you're going to be using for a while. The Obliteration Ray, I'm throwing this one into S tier. Not because it is the best mining tool in the game, it's not. It's up there, but it is not the best. It's just extremely versatile. Yes, it's an excellent mining tool. It's also an excellent melee weapon. It's also actually an excellent ranged weapon because it has a really long beam. So even though you get melee bonuses from it, you can use it like a ranged weapon and that's really useful. The Octarine Pickaxe is next and this one is going into C tier. I don't really have any complaints about it. It's a solid pickaxe and if you go from uh, Ancient or Scarlet to Octarine, that's fine, but you can kind of skip it if you know what you're doing and go straight from Scarlet to Galaxite, which is why it falls into the C tier. All right, coming up, we've got the Octarine Shovel, and I am putting this one into D tier, pretty much for the same reason that I put the Iron Shovel into D tier. There's nothing really special about it. There's nothing really crappy about it either, but you can probably skip past the Octarine Shovel and go straight to the Galaxite Shovel as well, making this kind of a skippable thing. The Octarine Sledgehammer, however, is pretty good. I'm putting it into C tier. I don't really have any complaints about it. And if you haven't found the Galaxite Sledgehammer yet and all you've got is iron, then yeah, use this. It's great. You'll, you'll wield it for a while. The Scarlet Hand Drill. Uh, what can I say about the Scarlet Hand Drill except to say that it is the best mining tool in the game. It is S tier through and through and through. It is just absolutely wonderful. Its speed is unbeatable. It has durability issues, which does hurt it a little, but get a couple of them and you'll you won't have any problems or keep a repair bench on you and that works just as well the scarlet hoe this one is going into s tier as well it is the best of all of the hoes at the time of this recording it gives you a five by five grid you're going to want to grab this one as soon as you can and just use it for the rest of the game the Scarlet Pickaxe, this one is going into B tier. You're going to want to make this as soon as you take down the Great Wall. It is really versatile and useful, and it will take you to that next level. But you are going to replace it eventually. The Scarlet Shovel is again going into D tier. It's one of those things that can just kind of be skipped. I mean, if you're happy with your Iron Shovel or really your Wood Shovel at that time, then you can again just skip all of these middle shovels and go straight for Galaxite. The Scarlet Sledgehammer, this one is also going into C tier. It is perfectly fine, it's perfectly average. It's a great upgrade, but if you skip over it for something else, then kudos to you. The Solarite Pickaxe, I'm putting this one into A tier. It is the best craftable pickaxe in the game at this time, and I definitely recommend it if you just want a decent pickaxe. 
the Soul Seeker. This is the legendary pickaxe, and this one is going right into S tier. The infinite durability of it is extremely helpful. Its bonuses are pretty damn good too, and it is just really, really, really useful. It's not the best or the fastest of all of the picks, but that infinite durability is perfect. The Tin Ho, this one is a C tier item. There's nothing truly special about it. I really don't have much to say about it. It's just decent. Same thing with the Tin Pickaxe. It's going into C tier because it's just an upgrade from copper, but is otherwise nothing special. You're gonna replace it with iron eventually. You might even skip it completely and just go straight from copper to iron. The tin shovel goes into D tier. And you notice that many of these shovels are pretty much falling into D tier entirely for the same basic reason. They're fine, but a lot of them are skippable. The tin sledgehammer goes into C tier as it's a perfectly viable sledgehammer. But whenever I was running around um, playing in my various worlds, I usually ended up finding the iron sledgehammer before I found the tin one, which kind of negates the need for the tin sledgehammer. But if you do find it, it's good. The wooden pickaxe is also going into C tier. This is the first pickaxe you get. Yeah, it's crap, but it's really easy to make in a pinch and you can just craft a whole bunch of them. So you can't go wrong if you really just need something with a wooden pickaxe. And the wooden shovel is also going into C tier as it's just, yeah, a basic shovel. Yeah, the durability is crap, but it's cheap, it's fast, it's easy, and it gets the job done. And when you're really just trying to tear up a little bit of ground or dig through a couple of walls, you're good. All right, I'm gonna do the max level tools a little bit differently than I did the others. Normally I do everything in alphabetical order, but in this case, I'm just gonna get all of the F tier items out of the way first. I'm not even gonna bother putting up all of their um, stat info because there is just so much and it's just frankly, it's just not worth it to list all the info. If you want to level these items up to 18 and see what it looks like, you know, go right ahead or check out my upgrade videos because I do post the stat information for all of these items there. But they're just, none of these things are worth leveling up to 18. Keep them at their starting level. Don't bother using them. All of these items are crap for endgame. All right, so we have got the ancient pickaxe, the copper hoe, the copper pick, the copper shovel, the copper sledgehammer, the galaxite pickaxe, the grubzooka, the hand drill, the iron hoe, the iron pick. You get the drill, more iron, all of the iron, all F tier. Octarine, yep, all the octarine, F tier. Scarlet, scarlet, scarlet. All of these are F tier. Tin hoe, tin shovel, tin pick, tin sledgehammer, all of these absolutely F tier. Wooden, F tier, everything wood is F tier. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, these are all the items that are just not worth upgrading to 18. Don't bother taking them to max level. They are all trash and there is infinitely better stuff that you'll be using at end game. Now, let's go over this very small list that is left over. Starting with the Bomb Mortar Scarab. This thing breaks through walls pretty decently, so I'm going to put it at B tier. It can actually tear through pretty much every single wall in the game. It's just a bit slow. The Burnzooka, this one is going into A tier. It tears through walls just as well as the Bomb Mortar Scarab. Pretty much, again, every wall in the game, no problems. And it does it faster than the Bomb Mortar Scarab does. So the Burnzooka is freaking awesome. Next, we've got the Galaxite Shovel, and this one is going up to A tier. It's the best shovel in the game. You're gonna wanna reinforce it. You're gonna wanna get it to max level because you want that durability high. You want that shovel damage high so that you can dig through those grand in one or two hits rather than two or three. Galaxite Sledgehammer, this one is also going into A tier as it is the best sledgehammer in the game. And if you're a sledgehammer person, this is what you're gonna wanna be wielding. 
the hand mortar. I'm gonna put this one into B tier as well. It is really good and breaks walls in this like burst rather than tearing through them like the uh, Zookas do. It kind of does it more in an explosion style. So it's just a different way of kind of having the bomb mortar scarab. It's just as slow as the bomb mortar scarab. So it has some limited use in that sense. The Obliteration Ray. This one is our first S tier item. Again, it is not the best of all of the tools, but it is still the most versatile of all of the tools, allowing you to use a single weapon for both mining and combat. The Scarlet Hand Drill. This one is S tier, as it is the best mining tool in the game. Durability sucks, but other than that, it is awesome. It is fast, it has the highest mining uh, bonus, and it will just rip through walls like they're paper. The Scarlet Ho is next, and this one is going into S tier as well, because again, it is the best of all of the hoes. It's got the 5x5 five five grid, and it has a high durability, and you get it really early in the game. I don't know if it's really worth leveling it up, but it can't hurt. It's great at level 18, so use it. All right, almost at the end here, we've got the Solarite pickaxe. I'm gonna throw this one into A tier as it is the best craftable pickaxe in the game. And if you're gonna be using a craftable pickaxe for end game, this is the one you're gonna wanna use and that you're gonna wanna max out. However, for the best pickaxe in the game, you want the Soul Seeker, which is going into S tier. It is indestructible and it is a decent speed. It is a wonderful pickaxe to have and you can just go forever because you never have to repair it. And then finally, we've got the wooden hoe, and this is going into A tier as well, because sometimes you only need to tile up one tile, and the wooden hoe is the only hoe that can do that. It's really good for precision control when you're picking up and moving tiles around, and that's why it goes into A tier. And that wraps everything up for today's episode. If you enjoyed yourself, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're interested in watching my videos regularly. And if you feel like adding some extra support to the channel, you can always join our Patreon or become a YouTube member. There are links in the description. Thanks again for watching. You're all wonderful. And until next time, stay crazy.